talked about wondering if your team had enough fight last week, just how big was the fight you saw tonight? How encouraging was that? Yeah, no, it was huge. Um, that's Friday night in our league or sometimes Thursday because of TV. And uh, I think, you know, the crowd that showed up got a show. I mean, first of all, thanks for choosing us over Lizzo. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, both teams, you could see guys just grinding away. I mean, those, those last two pitchers were going to go out on their shield no matter what it felt like. Uh, tremendous defensive plays on both sides. And then guys were trying like crazy at the plate, but the, the stuff that was coming at them was pretty good tonight from both sides. So all in all, just a great, I don't know how you don't enjoy that. I mean, I know it's difficult both, you know, any, any team could come up on the short end of that, but that, that kind of right there is what it's all about, if, if I can use that cliche. How impressive were those at-bats in the ninth by Dylan and, and Kavars? I mean, obviously they hit a home run, but they go down early in the count and kind of battle back. Dylan he, deals he, with us. Yeah, I think, the, I think the way that at-bat, I mean, you, you maybe made a comment there, but, but Dylan just handling it as a freshman and getting kind of a late tap on the shoulder and then the way the at-bat's going and the point in the game is, is incredibly impressive. And then KT, I mean, everything in that was kind of a, a his, his body of work showed up in that at bat. He's worked on staying in his legs more and doing some other things and adjusting. And uh, it, it's nice when kids get rewarded when they're determined to put in hours when no one's watching. You said about a guy like Griffin Merritt didn't start this game, came in, big opportunity, made a great throw, and the outfield to force the hit there at the end. Yeah, um, it, it's kind of a lesson, you know, for anybody that's on our team or, um, you know, of course, a bunch of little kids here cheering us on, which is which is awesome. But if, if they know the details there, you got an older guy that, like our team, has high expectations, like our team has dealt with frustrations. And then even in the game as he gets put in, I mean, the, the first two at-bats didn't exactly go his way. Um, but if you sit down with the kid in the office or talk with him in the cage, and you guys talked with him here, so you probably picked up on the vibe, he's got a great mindset. Um, it's It's even keeled, but also he's – He's kind of leaning forward a little bit. He, he wants to, to be aggressive towards what he wants to do, whether it's be a good teammate, be a leader, be a defender, be you know, a good hitter. And um, you know, that was one of about four or five big time highlights for us was just his effort off the bench and, and the attitude that he maintained. What was it like to see the celebrations of guys home and rounding first, the dugout coming alive? Seems like it's been a good minute since that energy's been there. Yeah, it's an opportunity for them to come together. And um, you can preach that, you can say that, you could have a team meeting, which they haven't had, and they've got to rally around one another. But you gotta, you got to play the season. you got to have some things go on. And, and so often, you know, the guys have showed up to the park, and the game is going to be your competition every day. And the game is very challenging. And we always talk about our conference in particular, too, is very challenging. So you take it up a notch. And then you talk about all the external things that come with this year. There's so many. It's insane. When you battle in those two, now there, there's kind of a compound effect. And if you just boil it down to, you know what, I got to be there for my guy next to me. So I don't have time to get deflated. Or if I do, um, the guy next to me helps pick me up. So I got to pick him up the next go around. Um, so to me, the big theme of it all is it, it's an opportunity to come together. Uh, because we played a game like this against Boston College, who I'm sure is winning a bunch of games at this point. Um, and that's an opportunity to kind of come apart a little bit when everyone's frustrated with one another. And our guys have been great all year long, but uh, you know, th this is something kind of like that fun win against A&M that they can hang their hat on and again, should rally around one another and realize how much they need each other because Griffin, Dylan, KT, I mean, Burns really, but you know, who are you gonna give the number one star of the game to? And, and you know, who made a play even though it didn't show up in the box score? It was, it was a complete team effort on both sides, to be honest with you. Tony, what went into the decision to go to Burns there mid-AB and how impressive was his outing? Yeah, um, his, his outing was impressive enough. I don't have words for it. And yet, I'll stop myself and say he's capable of that. And about everybody that's seen him throw this year knows that. It, the stuff has ticked up even a bit from last year. But to take in stride, hey, we're not sure what your role is in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and kind of be relaxed and take it in stride and then throw well is one thing. But then tonight, which I hope he didn't make me look too dumb, but when I just tap him on the shoulder all of a sudden and like, do you want this or not? And he says, yeah, and goes down there, gets ready pretty much in a hurry, uh, and then comes in in that situation that, you know, Sewell, he, he was kind of teasing me, don't you trust me out there? And we trust him, but he had dealt with a little bit of a hand issue uh, against Arkansas and it kind of popped up again. So um, 
again, it's, it's hard not to put the ball in the hand of the guy that we did. Uh, and and the, all, overall, the circumstances dictated that, I felt. Did what you spend the biggest difference for Chase these last two weeks coming out of the bullpen? I, I think he just needed a reset. Um, you could argue a little better command against Arkansas, at least with the off-speed stuff. Um, obviously, tonight, I mean, the crowd helped our entire team. The situation did as well, but it, it kind of had that vibe like, I'm not letting you guys lose. And, uh, and that meant everybody, everybody that's in the park and everybody in our dugout. Um, so the stuff obviously ticked up a little bit. I'm sure all the guys will talk about is he hit 100 rather than talk about winning the game. Um, but, but that part was fun. But, but I think he just needed a reset. I mean, if you, if, if you look at his body of work prior to this, a, a lot of stuff kind of hit a downward spiral because it's so frustrating. It kind of mirrors our team. Um, he's throwing the ball well, throwing the ball well. We don't make a play behind him. Bad break. A guy does square a ball up. And then it would kind of snowball a little bit. He just needed a, you know, Coach Barnes to call a 20-second timeout and, and reset and, and realize there's still half of the year left, and he could put together a pretty dang good year. And, uh, you know, my dad was making a comment about future stuff. I mean, the guy's got as bright of a future as you can imagine. It's not good to see that fire from him coming off, you know, the, the mound, the emotion through training. Yeah, John mentioned that, and I was like, John, there was a little bit of that in Arkansas. It kind of showed a little bit more, and, you know, maybe it's easier to do that out of the bullpen than in the starting role. But at the same time, he's, he's, come, he's evolving. He's coming out of his shell. Um, that foundation of his college career and career in general of what went on last year is never going anywhere. He was very mature. He got a ton of great experience. Uh, he was a good teammate. Uh, he led to a, a season that was you know, something that everyone was proud of and was a big part of that. And, and now it's about building off that. And, and sometimes as you move forward, um, you know, it's sometimes like a guy that gets stronger as a hitter. There's, there's other ways to look at it, too. A kid that's growing into his body. I think he's growing into his stuff and, and growing into his career a little bit this year. And, uh, again, it takes two to tango. Some guys have been fired up to hit him and done it well. Um, there's times where we could have been better behind him, some quirky circumstances. Um, but but the, guy, the guy at the end of the day is, is one that you want with the ball on his hand when the game's on the line. Oh, you, you, guys, you, you talked about toughness with this team and wanting to see it to be down to your last strike against a team like this and be able to come back and do that. How encouraging was that moving forward that you, you've seen this in your guys now? Very. Um, and, and you can measure it by that. It, it's, to, to, you, you're, if you're going to measure toughness and they're going to do it in the locker room based off results, there's going to be a lot of roller coaster stuff. And that's been a little bit too much of a theme this year of being a roller coaster. I think the toughness in this game and that we needed stem from Andrew Lindsay. Um, I mean, not that he wasn't good last weekend, but just the, the stat sheet was good and I think he had 10 strikeouts and, and yada yada, but just the courage he pitched with, and, and that, was, that was Coach Anderson's word, he, he gave us courage um, and it kind of disseminated, if that's the right word, let's act like it is, throughout the dugout and uh, I, I think it bled onto the field. And again, he, he kind of set the tone um, with, with just the way he competed. Yesterday, kind of seemed like you were looking at this weekend as a fresh start for the second half of the conference play. What does a win like this, especially how emotional it was, do that for, for that fresh start? Yeah, it does a lot. I mean, at first, it, it does what we talk about. It, it gives the guys something to rally behind and, and realize, um, you know, that there's a lot of ball left to be played. And, and then it gets you started off on the right foot. And so often, we've, we've talked, us as a group, you know, what's – How'd the weekend go, yada, yada? Well, it's, it's become a little bit of a result-based confidence, which is dangerous. It's kind of what I was alluding to. It'll lead you to a roller coaster. But everybody, I mean, I don't care if it was Kobe or everyone's a little bit result-based confidence. When it goes well, it, it's easier to be more positive and be excited about coming to the park and realize what you're capable of doing as a group. So um, it, it helps. Uh, and at the end of the day, these guys should know full well what they are capable of and they should know what their best attitude and their best approach is, and no one else gets to interfere. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thank you all.